Hey, Federica. Thank you so much for joining us today. And to kick us off, do you mind giving a brief intro of who you are and how you use interactive demos at Siebel? Hi, me. Uh, so I'm Federica, head of growth at Siebel. Uh, Siebel is a platform to actually uh, help uh, SMBs uh, with their financial control, for with their cash flow. And we provide uh, a lot of um, ut utilities, features, and extra tools uh, to make them in control of uh, their treasury. So we basically use Navatic to uh, collect leads that are interested in uh, trying Seville. Uh, we provide a free trial of seven days, uh, but before doing this free trial, people are also willing to see how it works. And they actually do that uh, with our interactive demo provided by Navatic, uh, which can be unlocked with uh, just the email address of our prospects or for example, right now we decided to make it completely unlocked, ungated, so the people just see the um, uh, interactive demo and at the very end of the demo, that is like uh, four or five slides, they can decide either to uh, start the free trial of seven days by themselves or to actually request for a real demo with one of our account executive. So it sounds like you all are maybe A-B testing or testing out the gated versus ungated. Do you mind sharing a little bit of why you first decided to gate it and then why you moved to testing ungated and if you've seen any results so far? Yes, of course. Um, so we decided to first go ungate, uh, with gated uh, Navatic because we wanted to collect more leads. Of course, we were at the very beginning of our uh, um, of our experience, of our adventure. So we tried a lot of uh, um, gated content, let's say, to, to collect more leads. And one of them was, of course, Navatic. But at the very end, we uh, realized that just the email address was not enough to qualify the lead for us because we request more uh, information. And um, we also decided to A-B test. So we had one version that was gated with um, all the um, wh where we asked for email address to unlock the presentation and one that was ungated so the people can just go ahead and uh, watch the, the demo for free, let's say. And we realized that, of course, uh, there were more um, free trial requests at the end because we were asking, uh, we were showcasing the, the call to action, request a free trial or request a demo even though we already requested for the email uh, with the Gatorade uh, version. And we realized that we had 1.6 uh, more time um, free trial request more with the ungatorade one. So oh. we realized that the, we had a, a real, um, a huge volume of, uh, of leads uh, from people that were looking at the demo themselves and then they eventually asked for the free trial. And instead the people that were already giving us, giving us uh, their email address eventually didn't want to go ahead with the process. And probably it's a psychological thing, you know, in marketing you <laughs> usually um, psychology is also very, very important in this case. Yeah, that's incredible. 1.7x more free trial users. And it, it might just also be like, um, you know, if you're getting more eyeballs on the product tour. It's not surprising here that the more people are enjoying it, loving your product, and then ready to sign up for a full free trial. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And uh, another thing that we are currently looking forward to make is, for example, use the demo also in other um, steps of the funnel, because right now we are just using it for collecting leads, as I said, but it can be very helpful also in um, middle of the funnel steps uh, phase, because uh, people in, in our case, for example, when they start the free trial, they are always uh, uh, guided by one of our experts which is um, making them go through all the um, features of Seabill and all the um, uh, extra tools that we have. But of course, uh, if uh, they um, um, don't see the, the Navatic the interactive demo in the very beginning, they are not, let's say, prepared. Instead, uh, if we send them the interactive demo or we also use uh, some videos, but you know the videos uh, are uh, just uh, kind of uh, 
passive content you just look at them you just watch them and that's it and instead with the interactive demo you interact a little bit you have also this kind of gamification it's not a real gamification but the people are more involved than just watching a video and that can make our prospect uh, uh, more prepared to look uh, at our uh, not virtual demo not interactive demo but real demo with one of our account executive yeah, I love that point that the demos make it just a little more engaging and a little bit like a game, right? You have just a little more ownership when you're clicking through versus watching a video. And taking a step back a little bit, I'd love to talk about, I know it was a team effort, but your building process and how you went from the idea of getting, you know, a demo on the website to having one live now. So we decided the best solution in order to get more leads, but also showcase the right parts of uh, our uh, of our solution without spoil without spoiler let's say also because we also want always the wow effect some of the things that we are um, really good at is the connection with bank accounts so when you are connecting your bank accounts for example in some minutes you can see all your movements all your transactions in Sibyl and this is making a huge effect on our uh, prospect during the real demo, so the demo with uh, one of our account executives. Of course, we are showcasing it in uh, somehow in the interactive demo, but you can see it uh, really in action with your, with your transactions and your movement and your uh, bank accounts. Yeah, that's awesome. Love the giving the prospect a little taste before they so they sign up and get them excited, but not, as you said, spoil the whole thing. Um, exactly. I'd love to hear if you have any, like, stats or results about either using them for educating free trialers or for the results of giving it to prospects before that sales cycle. Another thing that I want to share with you about data that we have is that, for example, the people that, um, the paying customer that uh, eventually, so the, the prospect that eventually became customer, that um, watched the um, that went through the interactive demo um, were eighty percent more than the the same type of leads like the same type of leads coming from the same sources let's say Google or organic uh, sources Google Ads or Google organic uh, SEO SEO um, they were converting eighty percent compared to the other leads that were instead converting and the trend, so from lead to customer for 50%, which is a great result. And this was also because, of course, they were going through the interactive demo. The volume is still less than the people that are actually just clicking on free trial because the call to action free trial or try for free is always more appealing than the probably the how it works or at least we tested it on our website and uh, we we um, proved it with our data but uh, anyhow the lead that came from Navatic uh, show a better quality than the people that are just going through the uh, classic process that's incredible yeah from 50 to 80 percent thank you so much for collecting that data and sharing that I'd love to hear that it's just I guess hopefully making people more excited and more ready to jump into that sales process and become customers. Awesome. Well, last question for me for today. Just curious if you had like a new member of your team trying out Novatic, what would be your top one or two tips for a Novatic newbie? Yeah, so um, I think for, so the first tip would be not to be um, too, um, not to do too many screenshots of the product, uh, not to be afraid to just give a little hint of the product uh, instead of giving a wall a scenario, a wall um, uh, tour of the product, because as I said, uh, or from a marketing perspective, it, it has to be um it has to make you curious about the the product uh, you won't show everything from the very beginning to the very end because you want just your leads to make make you just want people to be curious about it uh, and to be interested in it uh, and then you will show everything in a second moment and um, another tip would be to um, probably uh, use uh, more 
ähm, auf diese ähm, ähm, Boxes, that you can um, that you can produce and post uh, somewhere in the in the product in in your product demo, because just going through the pages uh, would be not just boring, but for example, I would be more amazed if I have one box and then when I click, I stay on the same page, but I see another little box that is showcasing me another feature because just going through slides, uh, it, will, uh, it will be to me just as a PowerPoint presentation. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I learned so much around like how you guys are using it as far as gating and gain, ungating. Always love to hear some stats there and just really appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you for having me, as I said, and thank you also for the product.